hi guys <laughs> long time no talk i feel like i say that every time i make a youtube video because you know i just suck at doing youtube <clears throat> but life feels like it's kind of settling into a groove of things theo he is old enough now to where i don't feel like so crazy chaotic anymore um I don't know, it's just, life just seems calmer, knock on wood. Um, so I had the random thought of trying to get back to doing YouTube. This is like the first thing that I cut out when life starts to get crazy because although I do love making videos and I love interacting with you guys and you know, putting stuff out there for you guys, it is not like my top priority. Um, I've, I feel like I've said this before um, and it's the first to go and one of the last to come back. But like I said earlier, I think I'm I'm getting ready. Like I, I feel I feel good. I feel like I'm able to stick to it and commit to it. So right now I'm gonna try to do one video every other week, so two videos a month. So that's my goal. And once I stick to that enough, um, then maybe I'll try to go back to once a week. I don't know. We'll see. Um and yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, thank you guys for always sticking around when I take like six month hiatuses, but I'm back. Hopefully for good, but we'll see. Um, I don't want to bore you guys too much um, up front, but there's not like any big life updates. We're still in the same house, still only have two kids. I'm not pregnant. Peter still works the same job. It's all, it's all the same. So nothing really has changed. Henry turned three, Theodore turned one. So that is awesome. They're growing up super fast. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, I will address a little bit, um, one thing, just to get out of the way. Um, for those of you who watch me because you know Alexander, which is most of you guys, um, he did put out a live video about meeting Nicole, who is my half-sister, and um, I'm not going like, to talk about it too much just because it really had nothing to do with me or my mom, but that was 100% um, like an Alexander thing. Um, I wish I would have, so that video that I said I was going to record, I, where I asked you guys what questions you had for me or my mom in regards to everything that happened when the whole ancestry thing unraveled. And I filmed it the same, or the next day that I posted that question, we filmed the video. I just, I literally forgot about it. Um, and I wish I would have put that out before all of this happened. Cause um, there was some behind the scenes stuff that happened, nothing too crazy. But I feel like if I post the video now, which I'm still gonna do, I'm still gonna post a video, I just need to actually edit it. Um, I feel like it might cause a little bit more tension than it would have before. But something that I am coming, like I'm growing more and more into it in my adulthood, I don't know. I just, I don't live my life to please other people. So it might make people mad, but also this is the truth that I feel like people deserve to know. So. Um, that's just a little bit on that. I don't want to talk too much about it. I, I will post that video eventually. I just need to sit down and edit it. We recorded like 50 minutes worth of <clears throat> footage, so it's going to take me a while to edit, but I'm going to do it. Anywho, um, yes, today is Wednesday, June 12th, 2024, and the boys are napping, and I have a couple things to do, so I figured I'd you know, bring you guys around with me. First thing, I have two packages that I want to open. I left one of them in my car. Let me grab it. Got it. I'm not sure what either of these packages are. My mom told me that she got something for the boys. So I think one of these is from her. They're both from Amazon. So let's see what's in these boxes. Ooh, okay. A wooden 
car uh, ramp toys Montessori toys. What a title. This is Theodore is gonna freaking love this toy. Let's see what's in this. One of these was at my door, the other one was in my mailbox. That's why I'm just not sure what's what. Ooh, I think this is for my mom too. Um, it's a little watering can with like a shovel at the top. So, um, this is actually a perfect segue of what I wanna do while the boys are napping. Um, we cleaned up our yard, front yard. The backyard still looks really rough just because there's still weeds. We sprayed the weeds, but they're still like there. Um, but um, I wanna grow strawberries and mint this summer. I'm gonna start with two. I don't wanna overwhelm myself, um, but I'm going to, I need to build the planter box that my mother-in-law gave me. And then my mom is taking Henry's strawberry plant shopping on Saturday. And then we're gonna plant them, I don't know when, but yeah. So this is cute. Um, this will be perfect. Henry can help, you know, plant the things. I do not have a green thumb of any kind. Um, I have an orchid plant that I've kept alive since Mother's Day. And then I have, oh, it's upside, a little, it's like the mini pineapple plant. They sell it at Target right now. I don't know what it's called. I've kind of kept it alive. Let me just show you, hold on, just hold on. Okay, it's called the pineapple bromeliad. I don't know, if that's what I'm saying, right? Um, the leaves are doing not good. So please tell me what I'm doing wrong. I water it like once a week because that's what this thing said to do. Um, water, so it says bright light, which maybe that's the problem. It's not, it doesn't get super bright in the kitchen, which is where I keep it. So that's why I had it sitting outside to get some sunlight. And it said water thoroughly on soil once per week. So that's what I've been doing and the leaves are not doing good. So help a sister out. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Now let's go build the planter. should build this outside but I don't want to so we're not going to. All right. I'm going to get this built I'm going to uh, probably uh, ha, look at that the instructions perfect I'm going to build this and I will be back with the finished product alright it's done Took me a lot longer than it needed to because I actually built it upside down first. So these side pieces, there's like a lip on the bottom and I put the lip at the top up here. And then when I went to go put these parts on, cause you have to screw it in on the sides. I realized that the lip wasn't at the bottom cause I did it upside down. So I had to take the whole thing apart. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. It's way, way big, but I think that this is going to be perfect. Then I also thought about getting like those little planter boxes that like hang off the side, maybe doing some flowers or something, but um, I'm excited to show this to Henry. I'm excited to do it with Henry. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So now I have to figure out where to put it. So <clears throat> my original idea was to put this in the back. We have like rocks. So there's like the back of our house and we have a little bit of rocks and then the grass, it's all dead. So I don't call it grass, it's the, whatever, the rest of the yard. But I wasn't expecting this to be so wide and I don't think it's gonna fit in just the rocks. Um, we do have on the side of the house a way bigger spot, like it's a lot wider. But I don't think it gets like any stuff so, I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see. We had a little bit of a dilemma with our, not, I don't, not our yard guy because this is our first time using him and I don't think we'll use him again. Um, we have, so maybe after he leaves, I'll go and I'll show you <clears throat> our yard situation. So we have, in front of our house, we have like mulch and some plants and some bushes. 
On the side, we have rocks and bushes, and in the backyard, we have grass, like I said, and then rocks on, it like borders the house. We went out of town, we went to San Diego for two weeks, and when we came back, it looked terrible. Peter was sick, we all got sick when we came back. I was sick, the boys got sick, Peter was sick. I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do the yard work. So I used my birthday money and I paid this guy that I found on Yelp. He had good reviews on Yelp um, to come take care of the weeds and trim down the bushes. $300 later, it, it was, it just was not a good time. He did pick up all of the weeds from the the rocks that border our house, which was great. Um, he cleaned up the bushes in the back really good, but then in the front yard, I told him I wanted them trimmed down as small as possible because they grow huge during the summertime. And I just don't like the way it looks when it's like super overgrown. And it's mostly my fault because when I, f I just like looked at it quickly when he said he was done and it looked good, like first glance but then when I went out the next day I was like did he even do anything and so I ended up spending the whole not the whole day I spent like three hours outside trimming all the bushes by myself and it was just oh it was such a big mess and then I noticed that all of the weeds that he sprayed they're gone they they died quick but our backyard still looked terrible so I messaged him I was like hey like exactly what I just said, the yard, the weeds are gone everywhere else, but the backyard still looks bad. Did you spray back there? And long story short, he said no. And then I, I responded to him. I was just like, the backyard was my biggest concern. Um, and so he's like, okay, I'll come by and spray them. So he said he's on his way now. So I can't go out there right now because I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to, I don't, I don't like confrontation and... I'm just not about it <laughs> so I'm gonna wait till he's gone and then I'm gonna see if this will fit and we'll just go from there and I do I want to show you guys um, the gnomes that Henry picked out we picked out some cute little yard decorations for the front yard I guess you could say and yeah so I'll show you guys that but in the meantime I actually don't have anything else so I'm gonna wait till he's gone and we'll go from there okay so here's the yard these bushes like i said i trimmed everything down myself but they were so big they were going over the rocks like touching the sidewalk and i have to get more mulch it's actually in the garage but um and then all of these plants he the only one he trimmed the one only one i didn't touch was that one back there but this one was also probably like two feet taller and wider and it was again like all the way out here to the sidewalk so yeah i trimmed all of the bushes and then these are our little gnomes that henry picked out and then this is our side yard over here um i don't want to go up to it because then you can see the addresses but behind the fence is our side yard so yeah that's the front hi guys it's future me um i was editing this video to put it together i feel like I say this a lot in my videos and I literally did not film anything after that last video you just saw. I don't even remember what happened. I swear I thought I filmed something else, but I didn't, I guess. So I'm gonna show you guys the backyard because that's kind of the vibe where we were going. Um, this, that, it's like a week ahead now. So I put the planter box back there. Henry and I planted the strawberries. I got brave, got two more planter boxes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you the backyard, but not but, and you'll get to see how we did the planters. All right. This is my backyard in all of its glory. <laughs> um, so this backyard is like from here to there is probably like four feet. So I don't know, this, this yard is probably like 200 square feet maybe um so very small we did actually we paid someone a lot of money to put sod in and they actually destroyed 
They put a hole in our fence, all of these black marks they did with whatever equipment they had. We also paid extra to have them level out our yard, which they didn't do. And you see how well the sod is. And not because of our own doing. We followed the instructions exactly how they told us to. And yeah, this is how it looks. So it's just, we'll get there eventually. But so yeah, this is the yard. And then we have this side bed of rocks. I wanted to get rid of all of these rocks here and put like pavers down, like the, you know, like the square, the red square ones. And then put like a picnic table or something over here, just somewhere, um, if we ever fix up the yard. Or even just put like a water table or something fun for the boys to do outside. Cause I feel like this is a lot of space here that's just wasted. But anywho, this is, this is where we're at. This is the big planter bed with the strawberries. So my mom got four strawberry plants. And then these little ones, um, I planted some lettuce seeds. Um, I just have those in there for now when they start growing or whatever, I'll move them somewhere else. And then I just got these today, actually, these two more planter boxes. And I wish I would have planned ahead better because I probably would have switched these, but these back here are cucumber. I would have put the cucumber up here and put the strawberries in here because I feel like you need less room. Um, but we'll figure that out when we get there. And then obviously some mint. We go through a lot of mint in our house, um, so I'm really excited. These were at Lowe's, $10 a plant. The lettuce, uh, sorry, the cucumbers were $5 a plant, so very inexpensive. So yeah, that's that. Anywho, <clears throat> sorry if this vlog was kind of boring. I had more um, like planned. I was gonna do like a two-day vlog, but that obviously did not work out. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have, um, I have a couple of things that I, like, I want to show you guys all of the house updates we did because we actually did a lot. We did a lot to our house recently, so I want to show you guys that. And then, um, I don't know, I have a couple other video ideas in my head that I want to do. So just stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching this video at least. And um, I hope to see you guys again in like two weeks. I hope you guys have a good day or night, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and I will see you when I see you.